very warm welcome to the Allianz Arena in Munich. And our live game is Bayern Munich against Galatasaray. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. things on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Wesley Schneider. He may be small in size, but he's big on influence, and if he has lively movement around him, he'll find the runners. He's the pivot for all that goes forward. Just getting the best out of him will count for so much. to hoof it away. And defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Goal! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. So that goal then? Well, his most important job there was to keep the shot down, and he did that without any problems. That's good concentration, you know. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Jamaili. Bayern Munich scoring in the first ten minutes to make it 1-0. Hummels. This is promising. Robben. Tries to swing it in. Well, that's not going to find its target. it out, Podolski, Schneider, and it's Podolski, Vidal brings the ball forward, so what now, looks to slip it through, corner given, It's Lewandowski! And the second time! That is terrific from Lewandowski! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. Bayern Munich, grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 
Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Sobchuk Inan, Jamaili, Podolski, Max Hummels with the ball through. Thiago. Thiago delivers. And back out it comes. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Lewandowski. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Coaxed out to the wing. Robin plays it in. And another time! This could fall anywhere! And they are disappearing out of sight. Ruslera did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Look, that's one of the first things you learn, whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage, and sometimes you'll get lucky. It'll come your way. without reply. This is becoming a stroll. And it's Lewandowski. Sheju. Two minutes to be added on. Robin. Robin! There is the half-time whistle. Bayern Munich very much in control here, three up and cruising. Ladies and gentlemen, drinking is only allowed in areas shown on this map. Thank you. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Jamaili. Robin pumps it upfield. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Well, he needed to be much more precise, but that was very short on quality into the middle. Oh, it's Jemaili. Bayern Munich. Up and in almost complete control. Sobchuk Inan. It's Thiago! Bayern Munich have to make a change here. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. No, that's not the ball he wanted. That had to be more accurate. Sochuk Inan. Schneider, Semikaya. Tries a through ball. Lewandowski! So took it on. Shots on! Well, he could 
couldn't get hold of it. Right in front of the goal like that, he's gone and missed it. I won't have to tell him that's not good enough. Bayern Munich are closing in on a comfortable win. Five minutes left on the clock. Real chance! Robin. There's the cross. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Vidal crosses it through. Well read, he's sorted that out. Schneider. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. A great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? At times it was like Groundhog Day because of their continuous success in using width as the best route to go. It worked a treat and it, it looked a treat. Another point I can make is that the foundations for this win were placed near both touchlines because they were able to build attack after attack with little resistance. Well, thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.